Hey, I'm Bart. I'm Gio. I'm Joe. And I'm Shannon, and you're watching Ask the Fields. And today's question is from Bo Dropper. Bo Dropper. Bo. Do you guys think it's weird that when we my girlfriend do sexual activities, I produce a lot of pre cum? She now refuses to give me head because of how much I make. He's got that drilling well, dick. I'm a pre coming motherfucker, <laughs> so <laughs> not a premature <laughs> ejaculator, but I fucking drip like a leaking hose. And um, a lot of girls don't mind, and some girls even get turned on by it. But there are a few girls that are like, what the fuck? Are you like nutting? Like, you know, they think it's pre cum or whatever. It's not that bad, but I think it just depends on the girl. It's not, it's not your problem. If you've already dated girls and sh they fucking sucked the shit out of your dick before and they didn't have a problem with it, it kind of sucks that she's making you feel like something's wrong with you. Mm -hmm. When there isn't, it's just she's not used to it because she's you're the first pre coming motherfucker that she encountered. Is pre cum um, due to how aroused the guy is? Well, it's a, a gland called the Cowper's gland, which produces this fluid that has no semen in it. It's just, it's really just lube. So the Cowper's gland is just more overactive. So most times it has to have semen attached to it, and some people's there's pops off before the party starts. And that's totally fine as well too, there's nothing wrong with it. The only way that you even have semen in your pre-cum is if you ejaculated like sometime within the past 24 hours, but mm. even then it's very like minimal. So I think that that fear of whatever it is that she's afraid of swallowing your semen or just doesn't like sticky shit in her mouth, like I don't know what that person's reason would be for not wanting to lick that pre-cum. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever dealt with a pre cum motherfucker? Am I a pre cum motherfucker? Yeah. I am a pre cum Yeah. I am? Uh, yeah, you have that shit three times. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't you know. are. Oh. Yeah, and I tell you that shit's hot. I tell you all the time. Ooh, are you even what? there? I've gotten reactions. Majority is like you. Yeah. It's like I love the pre-cum. It's kind of like the way I see it is like if a girl gets wet, it's That's like yeah. awesome. Yeah. Because yeah. mm, I feel like it. I'm doing that. Yeah. Woo. I've had guys because I've been told before that I get really wet, and sometimes it's like, oh my god, like it's just blah blah blah. Other times it's like, do you have a towel nearby? Like, no. <laughs> so it depends people, on how they it how they receive it and how much friction they like. So I, I get it from that perspective. So some people make make me feel self conscious about it, mm -hmm. um, and other people are like, oh, it's the best thing ever. Yeah. So I yeah. feel I feel it's this girl's problem, really and truly. You can't turn that shit off or up or down or slow it up. Like it just is what it is. And if she doesn't love and accept and want to embrace your body in the way that it comes. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. That's her problem, not yours. Yeah, some people get grossed out with bodily fluids, and it's almost as if she's acting like she's sucking your snot out your dick, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> what does pre cum taste like? Does it taste like. It's a little bit salty. Does it taste like. Does it taste like much? No. So cum tastes different from pre cum? Yeah. Mm, interesting. Yeah. It's just a sample. But I mean, I think at the same time, too. <laughs> it's a Costco sample. Not to be so harsh on this girl, I mean, at the same time, it could be she's just completely ignorant to the fact. So you can just be like, baby, like, this is how much you fucking turn me on. I mean, it's not necessarily the truth. <laughs> Maybe like, this is how much you turn me on. You know how you get wet? It probably same is thing. the truth, yeah. though. Same it's thing for me. You know, like, this is, I can't help it. You're just too fucking sexy. And I'm sure she, her head's going to be like. Because he's not pre-coming. Like, oh. I know. <laughs> But that sucks though that she would start refusing to give him head because yeah. of that. She was like, it's it's almost as if he would be like, you know what, you're getting too wet. I don't want to put my face down there or stick my dick inside. Yeah. That is fucked it's the up. Same shit. Mm -hmm. That is kind of mean. But then maybe again, like I think that's a mature thing to do is to assume that maybe they don't know and that they're mm -hmm. new to it and that they need an education to just talk to her about it, say it's completely normal. Just say that it's my Cowper's gland, there's no semen in there, nothing's spunky going on. <laughs> I don't yeah. have gonorrhea, like whatever it is that you think is going on. Um, it's, it's natural and it tastes great. It's a salty, <laughs> it's a salty snack. Give it a try. It's a savory snack. <laughs> That's the end though, our job is done, but your job has just begun. Do us a favor and click the like button below. Also, if you have amazing advice to give or just some type of comment, you can leave that in the comment section. And while you're down there in the, um, you know, the below area, below the belt and stuff, go and find my description. You can find all my links and you can follow me. And speaking of following, look right over here. <gasps> it's another video playing and you need to watch it now. Details. If I you don't. were to tell me to recall all the nipples on guys I've ever seen that I've dated, can't I remember that shit. People do shit. Like you would probably don't. memorize dick before you do nipples. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. But what that's if this case is like one of those like weird puppy ones? Wow, that's those are really big. Oh, you know what that's called? That's called gyno. 
So uh, guys that do steroids, they get it because they have a overproduction of testosterone, and when they when they start, uh, your body starts counteracting that by producing extra estrogen, so it starts becoming more more puffy. But there are guys that are naturally just produce uh, just get gyno too. Like I'm not talking like puffy just nipples, but the areolas are puffy. Too. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah that's, that's gyno. That's gyno. If that's your case, if it bothers you that much, plastic yeah. surgery is always the key. Yeah. Yeah, I think a lot of the times people have. Um, they get really fixated on like, oh my god, my fucking knuckle. Mm -hmm. You see this fucking knuckle? It's oh so yeah, fucking it looks weird. Fuck, goddamn! Mm -hmm. Everyone's gonna notice. No one's gonna want to.